Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another Feed the Beast video. Today we are going to make a milk powered quarry, or you can use the power to any other uh, machine that uses the uh, Buildcraft power, the M MJs, or, or what's this? I, I can't remember what's the uh, what's the long name of it is, but the, the MJs it is. So let's get started. Uh, we are going to use a cow for this, as you probably have guessed. So let's build him a little pen here. We'll place a deployer there to draw out the milk. Oh, that's the wrong place. Okay, so the deployer will draw out the milk from the uh, from the cow when we give it some. Uh, redstone power like that next we need a f oh. next we need a filter pointing the, that way the deployer way and we will set this mm. so that it will draw out only the full milk buckets not the empty buckets that are still here mm. then well, let's pipe it go away okay <laughs> And then we place these biogas engines. This will power the uh, quarry for us. So let's place one there. And I will use this wrench shortly to orientate them correctly. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, this will the biogas engine will give out uh, one MJ when using milk as the fuel. You can use other stuff, but uh, I will, will use the milk because it's free from the cow. Uh, next, let's place these wooden conductive pipes next to all of these. And as you can see, they will connect to this, uh, to the uh, biogas engine. And uh, that's the way that you need to connect all of these and then Let's combine them using these golden conductive pipes. Uh, the, uh, these don't have much uh, loss in energy. Uh, there's also, I believe it's a stone conductive pipe, that, but the loss is uh, increased with that, or more in that. Uh, I will orientate these now to point to the uh, wooden transport pipe, or wooden conductive pipe, like that. And uh, at the end of this line, we will place the uh, quarry, like so. Okay, so now we need to lead the milk to all of these, and I'm going to do it in here, so on top of them. Two more, like that. Uh, the bucket will go in in here. This this is this place mm. the place for the fuel, and the bucket will go there. Even though this pipe is connected to the top, uh, we also need to uh, give this uh, uh, biogas engine some heat. So the uh, biogas engine will need constant heat or heat to start up, depending on the fuel. With the milk, is that you need to give it a heat source when it is starting. So I will do this for all of these. Like so. And as you can see this change to no fuel. So next we need to give it some fuel. And the final one. Did I get all of the buckets? Probably yes. Okay. Let's combine these. Okay, and then we need a way to get the uh, empty buckets from here into there. And for that we are going to use a filter. And a, I'm going to use a screwdriver to orientate them correctly. So this is the output, this side, like that. And then use the pneumatic tubing in there and uh, 
lead this back to that deployer like so uh, next we need to add some I'm going to grab some uh, red alloy wire and a timer and a lever we need to give this uh, biogas engine a constant uh, redstone power and this filters and that deployer a ticking uh, power so I'm going to do it under here you can do it on the uh, on the ground if you want I just want to hide them the wiring I mean and in here so wire there 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 and that then lead it back here and up over oh. there but uh, uh, in here and uh, take it all the way like that and uh, that should be it yeah okay and then these guys let's do it in here okay and that should be the correct place and let's add a lever for them and that's your if you want to shut it down you you will use that that lever and uh, let's close this up like that and now we can uh, test it. Uh, let's place some buckets here so that there's uh, plenty of milk to go. Oh, I forgot to add the timer. So this line will be uh, activated by a timer, which is this guy, and uh, it will give a constant tick. So every one second it will tick and draw out the used buckets to the cow. And then these filters will draw out the uh, milk from the uh, deployer. And uh, the bucket gets here, the milk is put in this reservoir tank, and then the bu empty bucket will be drawn out by these. I forgot this, I need mm. to add also. Uh, empty bucket in all of these filters so that these won't draw out the uh, full milk buckets when they are uh, when the reservoir tank is full on the uh, uh, on the biogas engine okay so now these will only draw out the empty buckets okay so this full milk bucket isn't drawn out now uh, I'm going to pause it here Th this takes a wa while to fill up so uh i'll be back when it's all filled all of those engines are full of uh, milk okay they are about full i think all of these the one is missing the one milk bucket and uh, when all of these gets full all every single one of these full filled milk buckets will get back in this filter and they will stay there until a spot opens up. So there's probably no mi buckets in here. Uh, you don't want too many buckets in the uh, rotations, rotation, because this deployer will shoot them out if these all are filled with milk buckets. So six is oh, sorry, nine is probably the maximum uh, amount of buckets that you would want. Okay, next we can test this. So our quarry is ready. Let's fire these babies up. And uh, as you can see, it's heating up. You can check this, that there's this is giving out one MJ. And the heat is uh, rising, so we don't need a heat source for it. It will uh, provide heat to itself. And uh, yeah, all of these draws out the uh, one milk from here to here so that's why the uh, buckets are in rotation now and uh, now they are all full filled and uh, the core is started and uh, the uh, 
there are nine uh, biogas engines uh, because they will give out nine MJs and the maximum amount that the quarry can uh, use is nine uh, nine MJs so nine is the full speed of the quarry and that's the reason why I have nine in here okay so uh, that's about it uh, thanks thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll see you on the next one